where it was just a great documentation. There are some great shots in, in this book. To tell the story. Out of millions of buffaloes. The slaughter and kill by buffalo hunters. For the Indians. They were like the sun and the moon, and the stars, and the rain, and the rivers. Just a sad story. I, I, I wrote I wrote some songs about it. I remember there was back in the ninth century uh, a general I meant to remember his name was Sheridan. And he had a great vision, a white man's vision. And he said, when we've killed when we've killed all those buffaloes, we have slaughtered all those buffaloes, will also be the end of the Indian. Just to shoot buffaloes from out of train. Well, here we got a fucking bastard named Doc A.W. Carver. He was a kind of a, of a dentist who claimed that he killed 30,000 buffalo. And he later joined the Buffalo Bill Wild West Show. We all know what happened to the American, North American Indian. Here's a great painting by Louise Moore, the great royal buffalo hound. And we see Buffalo Bill in the foreground. And the Grand Duke Alexis on his left. They were just unhuman. found a body of someone who was killed in scope near Fort Dodge in Kansas. The Indians had stories too. There's a painting of a, a man in Buffalo Jones who rescued two buffalo calls from a, from a pack of wolves. Here's the greater of all the mountain man, Jim Brazier, who was 
known far and wide as Old Gape. Look at this, uh, a heap of buffalo bones, mostly skulls of that Langdon in Alberta, Canada. When they kill all the buffalo for the hides, they, they had to collect the bones to make glue out of it. Well, this document, to me, is a kind of reminder of what the white man done to the uh, North American Indian. It's to not forget this cruel acts and slaughtering of that great beast, Buffalo. <laughs>